and Kwame's going to be upset with me, I'm sure, when I say this, but I think a philosophical approach to it is, is kind, of, kind of misses a lot of the detail, uh, and it's all about the detail. One of the phenomena that I've uh, noticed as a politician, you know, knocking on doors and talking to people, is that um, in many instances, uh, it's the first generation immigrants who look very new, look very different, who want to keep out other, other immigrants because they want to feel part of the, of the host community, if you like. Yeah. So, I mean, one instance, you know, Polish plumber, a friend of mine, um, he got his British pa passport just uh, th about three months before the Brexit vote. And you know what's coming up. He, he, he was going to vote. I asked him what he's going to vote for. He said, I'm going to vote for Brexit. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I have to vote yeah. for Brexit. A third of British Asians in yeah. this country voted for Brexit. But, but his, his re reason for Brexit was very specific. I said, so why are you voting for Brexit? He said, look, I've just got my British citizenship. I don't want a Romanian plumber to undercut my job. <laughs> and that was, a, that, was a, that was a widespread... So he feels part of the host community and, and wants to protect his privileged status within it. Another case in my own constituency in Spelthorne, an Egyptian uh, uh, family, and I was sp speaking to the man, he was elderly, he was in his 70s. And he said, well, the, the problem is there are too many people from the Middle East coming into Britain. And I said, but you've come from the Middle East, you've come from Egypt. He said, yeah, I came to get away from them. I mean, that's what he said, that's what he, that, I mean, okay, that's a, a flippant, that's a flippant, but, but, it, but it, it shows, it illustrates, um, you know, how complex a lot of these, these issues are. I mean, they want to feel British and, and, and they, they don't see themselves as being part of, you know, the, 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 the migrant wave, if you see. I mean, that is true to the extent, uh uh, that's a phenomenon I've definitely seen as well in my own experience. Um, but just to take a recent example, you know, the, the Windrush scandal yeah. has um, uh, shown that even people who have been here 40, 50, 60 years, who were born um, right. like my parents and uh, 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 my grandparents under British dominion, are still somehow psychologically within the Home Office regarded as people who may be not British. That's right. Well, that was, well that's what, exactly what school caused the outrage. That's exactly, what, mm. that's exactly why it was so appalling. I mean, what was extraordinary was, I mean, pe people forget about the BMP and the National Front, and the, but the BMP actually had a line on the Windrush uh, scandal, and the BMP line was that they should, the government should pay to deport these people. Um, and that was actually a classic kind of anti-immigration line. What was extraordinary about that, the responses to that debate, was that ev everyone from the Daily Mail to the Guardian, you know, right across the political piece, excluding the far right, and there aren't that many far right, genuinely far right people that, uh, these days, I, don't, I would contend. Everyone thought it was outrageous that the Windrush generation were treated in the way that it was. And I, I mean, even though the, the scandal was appalling, I was quite heartened by that. Nobody publicly was saying, well, actually, they should leave because they're not British. Whereas if it had happened 30 years ago in the 70s, that would have been a much wider, a much more widely held view. So in a way, uh, although it highlighted uh, real problems with the government machine, and I, I accept that, it, it actually showed also how British society had moved in the last 30 or 40 years. But you were talking earlier, uh, you mentioned that actually the, the, the anti-immigrant sentiment is often um, most uh, uh, fervent uh, in places where there aren't many immigrants. So it's more a sort of imagination, a sort of imagined community sure. that is not part of um, that is not being extended uh, far enough. And the thing is, politicians' reactions often then is to respond to those people by saying, well, you know, you're going to vote for us, so we need to sort of satisfy that yeah. by being a bit harsher on immigration. Even, but if that isn't actually the problem, if it's a sort of economic problem or, or, or whatever, then surely it creates the environment for kind of windrush scandals I to I think you're right. I, but, but, but again, I mean, the extent to which in politics perception is reality is something that should never be underestimated. So when people perceive things, you know, the, the, the politician who says, you know, you're completely deluded, you don't know what you're talking about, I would contend is not going to be very successful at the ballot box. So you have to, you have to in a way, respond to the, the, the concerns. Um, and then you may have to say, well, you know, this is what we can do. It's a brave politician who says, actually, you're completely deluded. Because actually, in many instances, there is a grain of truth in what they're saying. Um, so, and the phenomenon that you describe where um, communities without immigrants complain a lot about it, I mean, that's, that's been observable since the 60s. I remember Michael Heseltine, he was an MP down in 
in Tavistock, which is in the West Country. It's in Dors uh, Devon. Devon, it's in Devon. Um, my geography is uh, shaky. Um, but no, it's, it, it was in Devon. And he, he, you know, he was elected, I think, in 66. And he said immigration was an issue there. And he would say, well, there isn't an immigrant for 250 miles. <laughs> but they would still raise it on the doorstep uh, as an issue. So, I mean, you can, you can laugh at that. But at the same time, that's still a concern. And as a politician, you do have to respond to that. 